Hey guys, I thought I'd do a bit of a uh, water change system walkthrough. It's not quite finished yet, but all the plumbing's done now, so I can give a pretty good rundown. So that's my main tap coming in to a solenoid. I'm thinking about putting filters on here, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, if you actually read the water filter cartridges, they're only good for about 2,000 litres, which would only... So I'd need to change it twice a week, so it seems pretty pointless. Obviously, so that is plumbed into my IBCs. I've um, sort of tried to do it without too many attachments on the outside of the IBCs. So I figured I'll plumb it into my return. And then, so the two IBCs are linked together. Uh, these two pipes coming off here are air lifts, so they'll just be running a couple of little air pumps. Um, I probably won't do the full length, I'll probably drill the air lift halfway because the, like, a small air pump won't pump down four feet. Um, there's a, a float switch there, so that'll actually be plumbed into this solenoid once I get my retic controller. So I've ordered the controller but I haven't received it yet. And then, so these two will keep cycling. The water will come in and it will sit in these tubs for like 23, 22, 23 hours. And then it'll come down through here <clears throat> into a constant pressure pump. So this pump will always be powered. And um, as soon as that solenoid opens, um, the pump will turn on. It's the same pump that I've got on my uh, retic, which also runs off my fish room. So I'm essentially doing the same design. I know Azito's rubbish, but the pump that I've got on my retic has lasted me two and a half years, so hopefully this one does as well. It's the same model. Um, that's my new controller for my LEDs. I haven't got it hooked up yet. I want to set that up properly on a um, on a timer, so when they'll only be on when I'm in the room. And um, sometimes I end up leaving them plugged in. At the moment, they're running off two transformers here, and it's not very nice for the fish if I forget to unplug it and it's running all night. All right. So once that pump comes on, comes up into the fish room. Um, I've had a bit of a drama with this leaking, but that's the pipe there. Uh, a jungle of hoses. So every tank's got a line. The way I've worked it, these tanks are 250 litres. So they've all got one line. And then if you come down here, these tanks are 500 litres. So um, they get, they've got two lines instead of one. I've got no taps or anything on it. The idea is just more lines. It's less complicated than trying to restrict taps and stuff. Yeah, this is probably the messiest tank I have. These buckos, they're um, pretty full on. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to plumb the pond into it yet. I'm thinking maybe a six mil line and just doing a test on it so I can actually work out exactly how much is going into that versus the tanks so I can keep like the same ratio because obviously uh, that same ratio in every tank is quite important but then that so the 7 by 4 by 2 it's got four lines coming in obviously four lines lo looks a little bit messy but it just saves a lot of heartache I don't have to worry about equalizing pressures or anything and yeah, so that's about it. All the tanks, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, all the tanks are plumbed. So they've got a return on them. Um, it's just an overflow system, so when the water comes in, it overflows. Uh, some people don't like this method, but it uses a little bit of extra water. But um, personally, for how much water costs and the setups to do a float valve and a dump on every single tank, um, the costs outweigh it for me. So yeah, the, I've got a ladder there. That's uh, 
old ladder that I've actually cut up. So that's pretty much permanently fixed now. I've bolted it down. A um, few people complaining about whether it's going to be strong enough. Um, if you look at my hand there, that's the size of the leg. So that's 90 by 90 and that's 50 by 90. And then, um, yeah, that's 140 by 35 and that's 70 by 35. And then the 90 and 50 in the back. This, it's not going anywhere. Alright, thanks for your time.